let's talk about Devin Haney now. Devin Haney, you're pathetic. You're dancing around in the bowling alley because you got your decision reversed. Nobody's gonna forget about that beating you took. Oh, and let's not forget, you're accusing me of not paying you? Bro, you just do not sell. That's the bottom line. You can audit my company anytime you want. Then you started lying, saying that Devin ain't selling. I've been jam-packed. Over 100,000 people. Oscar, Della, fool you. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to your live box and ego unpack. Yeah. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. All right, so let's get to the bottom of this right now. Bill Haney seems to have contradicted himself in a recent statement, and I'm gonna break it down in this video. So Bill Haney did a video, and it was targeted at responding to Oscar De La Hoya. I've already talked about that video. I will talk a little bit in this video, but this is why you guys gotta subscribe for all things boxing. I'm the best in the business and it's not even close. So check out that first part of the video. Bill Haney, he was around Devin Haney's belt collection or whatnot at a desk. The audio was terrible on the video and he's basically responding to Oscar De La Hoya. De La Hoya said his son doesn't sell, Devin Haney doesn't sell and is not a ticket seller. And he says the world will not forget what happened April 20th to Devin Haney when he fought Ryan Garcia. Point blank period. I actually agree with De La Hoya here. I don't think Devin Haney is the sales ticket that they're trying to make him out to be. And it's not to say that that couldn't have been the case at some point, but I think they rushed it. I think somewhere along the line, the Haney's grew arrogant and they were constantly chasing things that they shouldn't have been worried about bringing up mayweather and saying devin stop mayweather or whatever they said said he beat him into retirement and it, it became a lot of clout chasing also javante davis using his name in every interview saying the mayweather era is over the tank davis era is over and now that looks pretty stupid because tank is business as usual business is booming as far as Floyd, he's in the past generation. He's doing exhibitions. He makes his own money. He's really a retired fighter who just keeps on fighting. So your competition in terms of like the sales or who you strive to be is your contemporary. And Javante Davis has lapped everybody, including Devin Haney. Now the Haneyacks told you that somehow Devin was gaining steam and catching up and bridging the gap. I never said that on my channel because I didn't believe that. I think that Devin Haney could have kept working and doing what he was doing. He was he was making some good moves. He was having some good or solid performances. A couple shaky ones, you know, or shaky moments like the Lenares getting chipped up by older Lenares and getting hurt, you know, namely the Lomachenko fight, which is controversial. But you could have just stayed on that course. Being undisputed was a good look beating Cambosis. I don't know how that win has aged because Cambosis, that win is aged like milk because Cambosis hasn't really been doing good. And it's looking like his Teofimo Lopez win looks a little bit flukish. Now you got Bill Haney trying to save face for his son and he's getting abused in the comment section. He's trying to convince people after we just watched the Ryan Garcia fight and Oscar's saying something totally different he says, your son can't sell. It didn't do any numbers that I would imagine would be impressive because here's, here's the skinny of it, mate. The end of the day, you can listen to Bill Haney, you can listen to De La Hoya, or you can listen to Boxing Ego. I'm completely a neutral party. This wasn't my fight. But the reason why I'm saying I believe De La Hoya here is let's use a little bit of common sense. If this fight did grandiose and great numbers, 
then why would DAZN not advertise it? Surely they would put out a press release like, yo, Haney Garcia sold over a million pay-per-view buys. When Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, they said it was like the most watched female boxing show ever. So they put out a graphic to let people know. Anytime, everybody's gonna uplift and celebrate their W's. This is just common sense. People do it all the time. If you follow any social media on their Instagram feeds, their Snapchats, their TikToks, they just post their W's. If you got evicted or got your car repoed, you're probably not gonna post that. Like, oh, look, you know, this driveway is an empty space where my car used to be, it got repoed. You know, unless you're trying to gain sympathy or do a GoFundMe or something, most people aren't gonna post their L's, right? So all in all, the numbers never came out with DAZN and it's been months at this point. So again, just ask yourself, if it really did good numbers, how come the numbers never came out? It doesn't even make sense. I know that, you know that. Bill Haney, he's trying, but it is, it's a sinking ship, if you will, in terms of trying to convince people otherwise that especially in now it's even worse because of the outcome of the fight and how it looked even with the the decision being reversed there's so much to you would have to reverse people's memories and that's what oscar de la hoya said but there's a second interview where bill haney another video where he did an interview with tbv and he was asked about the haney garcia numbers and he literally said that he doesn't have the numbers. Question was simple. What was the latest numbers that you got? Bill Haney paused and stuttered for a minute like he didn't want to answer the question. And it, that to me, that indicates that someone could be being deceitful if you're stuttery, you're stammering, and you're pausing. It's like you're trying to think of the perfect answer. Bill Haney said that I don't have the numbers. No one has given me the official numbers yet. This fight happened April 20th and we're headed into the 4th of July. It's almost the 4th of July, people. Next Thursday is the 4th of July and he's saying that he don't have the numbers. So the fact that you're hiding them lets me know everything that I need to know. Because even if you didn't have a quote official number, which is cap, because DAZN is a proprietary app where the bulk of their numbers should come from the in-house purchase option as opposed to yeah they have maybe a couple other ways playstation 5 consoles or pay-per-view.com or maybe even direct tv maybe they have a couple different options in order to order the fight but the main option that they push is the internal proprietary option to purchase it directly on their website or directly through their ios or android app so you would have the bulk of the numbers pretty instantaneously because it's all being handled internally. You don't have like a third party that should get the bulk of the numbers. So the point is months have elapsed. We know that he has some indication of a number, but he won't put it on wax. So that don't make sense to me. Again, I know it, you know it. So why would you not have an official number or even anything close? So what are the official yeah. numbers that you've been given? Uh, I haven't been given an official number. Furthermore, why would I believe a person who says they don't have the official number, but then later does the video where he says that Devin Haney can sell and he's doing great numbers and saying that De La Hoya lied at the sale. Then you started lying, saying that Devin ain't selling. You said, we ain't selling. Our last five events have been jam-packed. Over 100,000 people. More than anybody you can say on your roster today. So, Mr. Oscar De La Hoya. So, the person who doesn't quote have the official numbers I'm supposed to believe the person that doesn't have access to the direct number, the official numbers, the paperwork, but then you're calling De La Hoya a liar when he's saying your son can't sell and he's the founder and the owner of Golden Boy and he has access to it. So you guys let me know in the comment section, who should you believe? The promoter who actually had the, the opportunity and has access to the files and the the data 
Bill Haney also indicated this in his video because he started off and he said that, oh, Oscar De La Hoya, who's running around with the network disowns money. So he has a partnership with the network and he has access to the number. Bill Haney and the Haney's, they don't have a network deal through DAZN, meaning they're free agents. Eddie Hearn just told you this. They can come and go as they please at this point of it. And that's why Eddie Hearn said that DAZN wasn't going to bid on their fight with his mandatory, Sandor Martin. And then Devin Haney had to end up pretty much vacating the belt and becoming a champion in recess because top rank won the purse bid. So DAZN doesn't even want your last fight or your next fight. Right. That's the reality. Eddie Hearn already said that it's on wax. And Devin Haney told Ariel Hawani he still plans on working with Eddie Hearn. So you're willing to work with Eddie Hearn and he's throwing you under the bus every step of the way. That's one promoter. Second promoter that you just worked with, Oscar De La Hoya, he's saying your son can't sell. So he's throwing you under the bus and Team Haney under the bus and saying the fans will never forget like it's 9-11 or something. They're saying we'll never forget the butt whooping that Devin Haney had on April 20th. So I think the Haney's are burning bridges and Floyd Mayweather talked about this when he had that that argument or whatever with Bill Haney burning so many bridges. Top rank probably feels a, a type of way because you bailed out. Industry insiders believe that he was going to go to top rank for a Sandor Martin fight and then maybe a T.O. Fimo fight. But now Devin Haney says he's sitting out and potentially suing Ryan Garcia. Oscar's throwing him under the bus. Eddie Hearn's throwing him under the bus. But listen, Oscar and Eddie they're the guys with the network deals. The Haney's don't have that. The Haney's, they keep saying, oh, we want to work directly with the networks, but they don't have that. They don't have an actual relationship that gives them where they could just put all their fights on the zone. They have to go through the proper channels, be it an actual promoter like Eddie Hearn or Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy. They can't, they don't have like a Devin Haney Promotions DHP exclusive deal where even KSI seems like he has a deal like that with DAZN. If I'm being real, that whole Misfits stuff, that's KSI's stuff. So he even got a partnership. So the Haney's are in trouble. They're trying to persuade people that Devin is this big, hot star, but nobody really believes it. And furthermore, as I've stated throughout this video, your brand took a massive hit with how Devin performed and now he's not a champion and some of his outlooks will say appear to me at least unrealistic he's talking about coming back i'll fight at whatever weight i want any weight i want you're not even a champion anymore you got your undefeated record back but people aren't looking at you as an undefeated fighter because unfortunately for you the fight happened and we've seen how it happened and how everything played out so you can't reverse that. There's no, Oscar's right. There's no way, I said it before, Oscar. There's no way to unsee it. That's like if you just went into the back room at your job and you seen the store manager and he was sleeping, like he was in the middle of you know what with a coworker and you just caught them in the act. There's no way you could just like, oh, let me just forget this. I didn't see my store manager smashing an employee in the in the back. You know what I mean? That's the Devin Haney fight with Ryan Garcia. I don't care what none of y'all say. You guys can get mad and, oh, I'm unsubscribing. Good, I want you to, because it's not gonna change what I'm saying. You can just leave, that's fine. If it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea. My channel is not for everybody, but if you're a real boxing fan, then my channel is for you. And I'm telling you what it is, I'm not beating around the bush. I'm making it so simple and clear. I'm cutting out all the fat and I'm getting straight to it. We getting straight to the meat, straight to the protein, no ditty, right? Devin is looking like a fly caught in a spider web waiting for the spider to wake up. That's where his career is right now. It's like a helpless fly and he's just got caught in the web and he's just languishing there right now. Now, I don't try to put limits on people. Maybe Devin Haney can surprise everybody and somehow reverse this, but I'm here to tell you he's in between a rock and a hard place 
and the way his dad keeps doing these interviews and doing these videos i honestly don't think that is gonna help devin haney get back to the promised land by turning people against you even more to the point where people are like shut this guy up and leaving these comments that are all negative devin haney he did the interview with mma hour so he ran to an mma channel instead of a boxing channel you got all these boxing channels these haniac channels and they spend all day and night day and night defending devin this is day and night yeah yeah right day and night defending devin haney and he runs to an mma channel to give his exclusive thoughts i'm telling you the kid is arrogant he has this belief that he's above it like i'm devin haney like nose in the air type of demeanor we'll say and there's other things that i would go in to expand upon that but i don't even feel like it right now take my word for it so you got to humble yourself and come back down to earth doing these videos where your dad is angering people and making turning people off and then trying to flex on people on twitter with money it's it's making the road back the road to recovery that much worse that's my honest opinion the people have spoken the public feels how they feel you can get mad at them say oh you guys love cheaters and all this garbage but at the end of the day the people are definitely speaking loud and clearly why did devin haney for the first time that i could remember clear out his instagram where he deleted all his videos what is he doing that for tell him to post and then just look in his comment section you guys will see look at his his dad video where he's saying his son is a sale people are not agreeing with what you're saying that's just what it is so we'll see how this plays out but i have so many questions because bill haney said he doesn't have the official number yet he said devin haney outsold everybody that fought this year so you don't even have the number yet you said he he is a star and he performed better than anyone in boxing how do you know tank davis's numbers with frank martin when it's proprietary with amazon prime and the numbers haven't come out how do you know that you did better than that fight if you don't have the official number canelo just fought cinco de mayo with a mexican fighter jaime mungia if the numbers you do not have an official number how do you know you did better than canelo you know it doesn't make sense and then he's saying oh we sold a hundred thousand seats boy if you don't we talking about an australian fighter who had just upset teofimo and you fought him in australia those were his fans those were aussies waiting to see the australian champ in the first fight and then the second fight because the first fight was kind of boring they moved it to a smaller venue look it up how cambosis looked in the first fight how it was just like more so outboxing they moved it to a smaller venue and you're trying to claim credit like hey see look these devin is is a ticket seller furthermore none of that matters because what do you do from here after the ryan garcia damage has been inflicted you know because you no longer have a belt nobody wants to see a cambosis trilogy he just got knocked out by lomachenko something devin didn't do in 24 rounds so it's going to be interesting to see where they go from here.